Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supply. Today we're going to compare the Jet 6 1.75 to the Jet 6 2 inch compared to the Pandaris um, spin vein, which is quite a stiff vein, very much like your Brady Ellison um, spin vein. So there's quite a few different types like that, but it's quite a stiff vein. So I'm a little bit above, a little bit in front of 18 meters because at 18 meters the sun was in my face. So I'm just gonna move my side up just a smidge. About one meter in front of 18, I'm shooting it at a 40 centimeter target face. Um, so we're gonna shoot them all at the same target. I haven't, I haven't shot any arrows this morning. This is my first arrows. I haven't warmed up, this is fresh. I haven't shot these before. This is my first shots. When you test new products, and you should test new products to see how they go, and it might be they shoot better for one reason or another. It affects the spine of the arrow, so the spine's better for you. So it may not be the product that's better, it may be the spine's better um, for you. But if it improves your score with the current setup you have, then that's a good thing. It doesn't mean it's not a good product. It just means that the, this product suits you better. You test it and test it and test it. You shoot scores and scores and scores, and you test it at different distances. Because it might just be you're having a good day one day versus a bad day another day. So you test stuff. It's not enough to say, well, you know, the mate down the archery club says this is a good product. Because I can show you a hundred people who shoot really, really good scores with an, with another product which is just as good. So for me, part of it, so another Jet 6 Yellow, so this is a 2 inch. For me, part of it is the durability as well. But these Jet 6 feel so light and they're meant to respond quicker than a normal spin wing which I find really hard to understand because a normal spin wing like the other ones are very rigid um, so I would think the other ones would straighten up much quicker But that's not what their research shows. This is the 1.75. However, when you know, when I listen to other people's, when I listen to other people's reviews and stuff. I I always question stuff. So I remember seeing um, the bone in Griffin vein. Saying, you know, Olympians have tried this and it's like... I don't know what happened then when I hit the target. So this is another 1.75. I'm really sorry for my dog barking in the background. She's normally pretty good. It's just, that's whenever I go to film. That's like... And you think I know to put her in the house. There was actually some voices out the front, which is why she barked. Another um, two inch, Jet 6. Now, Jet's Jet 6 also make a shark vein, which is a longer vein, a four inch vein. I couldn't stick that onto the shaft because the um, wing thing jig wasn't long enough. So I couldn't test that because that's your indoor vein.
Right, so your normal, normal vein. And I'm gonna say normal on a spin wing and people might get offended by all the different names for spin wings. Like the original spin wing is very soft. It's a very soft spin wing. Um, I think some of the gas pros are quite soft. There's soft ones and there's hard ones. Personal choice. I almost forget all the different brands. The uh, European ones, the English ones, XS veins. Another. I've been really happy with these veins. I found them easy to stick, I found them pretty durable. Look, they're really durable if you're shooting in a target range because you're not crunching arrows like this at the single face. With all my training works done at home at short distance, I just crunch arrows, so I'm constantly refletching um, arrows. Another spin wing, or another. Is a Pandaris, a two inch. And it's interesting, like if you notice, I have different knocks on some of my arrows. <laughs> they will shoot the same. This is a Fivix knock, the other ones were just the Pandaris knocks. And the last little Jet 6, 1.75. It's interesting, I don't normally shoot with a cap on, and the string sometimes comes and touches my cap, which is an indication I move my head in a different position. What you're looking for with archery is consistency, so doing the same shot every time. So if things touch your chest and they don't other times, that means you've changed your body position, um, and caps are very much like that. So let's have a look how they've grouped. This is really, really interesting. So I've got the group of the Jet 6s are out to the right, okay, and they're actually a pretty decent little group out there. The So they're 1.75 and the 2 inches are grouped together. So basically no difference in that. There's... So these ones are all grouping, so that's two of each of the 1.75 all touching. And they are to the to the right, which indicates the arrow is flexing more out of the bow, so a softer spine. So these um, veins, because they're lighter, are making the spine slightly lighter on the bow. Two of them were in the middle. So two of them were in the middle. The rest were a really good group, but then my other, my other Pandaris veins are all in the middle. Now, now, some things out of that. The grouping with the Jets was probably better, okay? So you can't compare scores and scores, because the Jets were probably better, but then the odd one was flying out to the side, which could have been me. Absolutely, I could have pulled my hand away a little bit. But these ones were definitely like a better score, but not as tight as the Jets. So, interesting. Um, it doesn't, it could be the fletching on the Jets is not as good as these ones. Um, it could just be me shooting bad. So what you've got to do is you've got to test and test and test. So my probably next thing I would do, based on that, um, is shoot lots of arrows. 
um, would be to make up six of the 1.75, six of these. Um, I will look at um, seeing if I can improve the fletching um, in the jig. I haven't quite worked out how to do that in the wing thing. Oh, one of these Jet 6 is now bent, so it obviously got hit. You can see that one there? It's got a crease now. Um, but anyway, interesting. The Jets, Jets versus the normal spin wings. Um, but they're definitely a lot lighter. Like it's, it feels even lighter than a normal spin wing. But I do like the way they sit onto the shaft. They, they like a, like I'll put force. You can see how much the arrow is bending. Uh, like that stick, that stuck on really, really well. Um, where you can see with the these ones, the edges are raised here. The edges don't raise with the jet sixes. Look, the price. The price on the Jets versus the spin wings, there used to be a huge difference. The Jets used to be double the price, but because I brought in so many, I got them at a cheaper price, so they're past that price so through to the wholesalers and through to retail. So they're now priced at a very similar price point, which makes it very interesting for an archer, I think. Because if these were double, and people were choosing them at double the price of these, I don't know if I'm as keen. Um, I'm definitely keen to try them, but at around the same at around the same price, then it's very very interesting. Um, now you can shoot spin wings with compound as well, and back you know 20 30 years ago, everyone used to shoot spin wings with a compound. Um, it's no longer the case, I think, because of the fletching issues, because it's a bit harder to fletch. But with the wing wing thing jig, piece of cake to fletch these ones, and I'm not. I think I've got to do some more work with the Jet 6s and the Jet 6 fletching jig and maybe see, watch some videos of people doing it. But, yeah. All right, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I hope that's been helpful. doesn't tell me much, but it means I've got to do lots of work to work out what size I use and lots of stuff to see if one of these combinations will help me. Um, so, to shoot more scores. Um, shoot a higher score. Again, if you shoot... Poor scores, it gets back to your shooting. Um, but if you're shooting a fairly decent score, you know, one of these one of these vein combinations may inc may increase your score by a, a handful of points. And that's what I'm trying to find. Which one of these combinations will improve my score by a handful of points? For the majority of times I shoot, that's what I want to know. I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies. Thanks for watching.